Greetings, Discrete Defenders. We have a new 380 hollow point design to test this evening. This is a 90 grain JHP by Sierra. Yes, that's Sierra. They are the makers of famous rifle bullets for competition and hunting. So hopefully they will have done their homework on this 380 bullet. It looks like a fairly wide, deep, segmented hollow point, and I am excited to see how it performs. Now, first up, we are going to chronograph this round, and the test gun, as usual, is gonna be the LCP Max by Ruger. Put this round back in the box. Switch on the Aging Pro Chrono with a brand new battery. And let's throw five of them across the top and see what we get. Shooting from just four feet away. Eight eighty nine. 903, 910, 913, 921. That is uh, a really nice round. Really consistent, 907 feet per second. That seems like a really acceptable speed or velocity, muzzle velocity for a 90 grain 380. Now I'm going to set up and do the gel test. And the first test I'm going to do is going to be two layers of denim. See if I can get a side view on it here. I'm going to have to wait for results. The ruler, as usual, this is my bread box gel block, 13 and a half inches long. And instead of water jugs, I've got wood to back it up right now. In case we have a pass through, I do want to catch the bullet. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. And once again, that first test is just two layers of heavy denim. Looks like the bullet has gone just to the back of the block. Yeah, it definitely dented, <laughs> it dented the wood backer. No, there is no expansion from that Sierra. Now the list velocity on them, I believe is 996 feet per second. So maybe if we had a bit longer test barrel, we would, uh, we would see some expansion out of those. But that is really kind of disappointing. Obviously no point in doing a four layer test if it's failing the two layer test that badly. I think what I'll do next is just a bear gel shot, just to see how they expand when they expand. if they expand. All right, yep. And on that bear gel shot, we have expansion and we do have penetration depth to measure. That would, that would be about, we don't need that in there anymore, about, Uh, ten and a half inches, which is not bad, not bad for a bear gel test, but there it sits, right about the ten and a half inch mark. I'm going to pull that out of there now, show you that expansion, and it's pretty modest. Something remotely like an XTP bullet or so, a little bit bigger. 
So there's the short barrel performance anyway for the 90 grain Sierras out of the Ruger LCP Max. Although it's a consistent load, it's um, maybe not the right projectile design for a short barrel pistol like this. Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.